Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show, and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's hey! a figment of your imagination. Randy Roach. Turn up your mind. This is probably one of the lesser played clips. I haven't seen it anywhere, but this is from Sunday. This is from yesterday. This is from the, his uh, ridiculously stupid press conference yesterday. He's giving them every day now. People are literally trying to figure out how in the world to handle this because all he does is lie and pass around disinformation, misinformation, bad information, whatever it is. I mean, the man, Fauci is beside himself. He told uh, a science magazine, you know, listen, uh, what do you want me to do? Push him off the stage? What do you want me to do? Grab the microphone away from him? I mean, Fauci is, 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 is saying, uh, listen, I need to be there, uh, but, yeah, you know, uh, what do you, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. Yes, the man is uh, full of crap is basically what he said. So this was uh, one of the lesser uh, heard clips, I think, but I think you need to hear it because this had to do with the slush fund. The question that was asked was, will you take slush fund money basically well in the senate bill that was being negotiated yesterday they the the reporter asked will you be taking money for your hotels for your businesses and uh the answer is is just a jumbled trumpian mess the bill that is being contemplated by the senate right now has a fund that has hundreds of billions of dollars for the treasury department to use to bail out states and localities as well as specific industries such as uh, cruises and hotels will you commit publicly that none of that taxpayer money will go towards your own personal well, yeah, property? every time i do it like for instance i committed publicly that i wouldn't take the four hundred and fifty thousand dollar salary it's a lot of money whether you're rich or not it's a lot of money and i did it nobody cared nobody nobody said thank you Oh, Nobody said thank you very much. Now, I didn't commit legally. I just said, I don't want it. I don't want my salary. I work for zero. I don't want my salary. Nobody said, for. oh, thank you very much. But I guarantee you, if I ever took it, you would go out after me. You in particular would go out after me like crazy. So I have no idea what they're talking about with regard to the one element. It's, everything's changing, just so you understand. It's all changing. But I have no idea. But every time I commit to do something, I committed to do many. Look, I ran, and everybody knew I was a rich person. I built a great company, and people knew that. <laughs> but I agreed to do things. I didn't have to. I still don't have to. But my company, I told the kids who are running it, I'm not running it. Uh, but I told them, don't deal with foreign companies. Don't. Ah. Do I didn't have to do that. I could have just ran, and I have. I, I didn't have to do that at all. And. Instead of being thanked for, again, not agreeing to do it, but just for not doing it, I get excoriated all the time. So I've learned, let's just see what happens, because uh, <laughs> we have to save some of these great companies. They can be great companies literally in a matter of weeks. We have to save them. We have to save the companies, everybody. And, and he doesn't answer whether or not he will, uh, you know, loot the stimulus uh, package. He doesn't say anything. But virtually all the looters are members of the United States Senate, as you know. I mean, uh, this Kelly Loeffler, this unelected piece of uh, dung, uh, she was appointed to take Johnny Isaacson's seat in Georgia by, uh, you know, that, that, that moron Kemp, who's the governor. Uh, this woman's worth $500 million. Her husband is the chairman of the New York Stock Exchange, and she sold millions of stocks after a classified corona briefing and decided not to alert the public about it. Uh, you know, you have other people, you know, uh, Burr sold millions of hotel stocks, uh, millions of dollars in hotel stocks uh, after he got his uh, classified briefing. And I told you, the, the, the corona briefings were all classified. They didn't want us to know, see? They just wanted to know for themselves so that they could loot, so that they could steal. Because in chaos, you can steal. So you got everybody profiteering off this inside information. This, the Senate itself has turned into a stimulus. The sen being a senator itself is a, is a slush fund to help, uh, you know, them. It's, it's just so unbelievable. So uh, when they asked him, would you enrich yourself off of this uh, slush fund? Uh, 
I don't take a salary. Right. And guess what, America? We get exactly what we pay for. Unbelievable. Rand Paul, he was in the Senate gym uh, waiting for his coronavirus test results. He was swimming in the pool. He was using uh, sweaty towels, all this stuff. And uh, apparently he tested positive. Now, Senator Rand Paul is a doctor. How in the world does he still have a license to practice? He should be stripped of both titles, Dr. Rand Paul and Senator Rand Paul. This is unbelievable. And so Mitt Romney was at a lunch with Senator Paul over the weekend, and now Mitt Romney is in quarantine. And Paul has been diagnosed uh, with COVID-19. Wish him the very best. He's compromised given uh, health conditions he's had in the past, and so we'll be praying for him and thinking, thinking about him. And, of course, all the senators are going to seek medical advice as to what action we should take uh, uh, to make sure that we don't in any way uh, spread this virus ourselves. You were all at lunch together on Friday. Yes, yes, we were in a, we were in a lunch together with Rand and uh, uh, hope he's doing very well. But we have to determine whether any of us should self-quarantine as a result of being in the same room. Well, apparently the doctors told Mitt Romney that, yes, he should self-quarantine now because he was in the same room sharing a lunch. And then at the press conference yesterday, Donald Trump was told about it. And the sarcastic nastiness of this man, the character or lack thereof, was so on display. On top of Senator Paul, now four senators are in isolation. And the rules say that in order to vote, they have Who to are be they there. Who are they? Uh, Romney, Senator Lee... Senator, 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 Rick Scott. Senator Rick Scott also. Two of them were in contact well, with Rick. Is with Rick is coming out. Um, with the critical stimulus package vote expected. Romney's in isolation? Yes. yes. Gee, that's too bad. Gee. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, does it detect sarcasm there, no. sir? No. Uh, none whatsoever. No, no, none whatsoever. He is a pig. That is what we have as a president. We have a, a, a me, 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 self, self, you know, oh, even Ted Cruz self-quarantined when he could have had the virus. So I think we now have the answer to the question, who is the worst person in the world? Right. Who was the worst person? Brother David in Kansas. <sighs> kind of feeling like the earth has told us all to go to our rooms and think about what we've done. <laughs> the paradigm shift is upon us, sister. I this know. is what it feels like. I know you know. Of course you know. Preach on, preach on um, to the chat room and to all listeners. Uh, you know what to do. Spread the word. Tw a million subscribers before this thing is over. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. Because uh, this, the, the, yeah, you, I, I know you know. Um, it's listen, flush it, fun. When I, when I read. Flush fun because that's what it is. Go on, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, when I read over the weekend that Harvey Weinstein had Thank it. Thank you. Rand Paul had it. Um, did, you uh -huh. know, I just started thinking maybe there is a moral order to the universe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe there is. It's like is. this great big cosmic reboot. Um, we yeah. can't keep going on the way we've been going on. So let's see if everything that we go on with and we take for granted, blah, 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 is suddenly not there and we are all we have. Yeah. And I, <laughs> Whether and I, it's, you saying. know what? This is a wonderful time to point out to everybody that we are the economy, period. Bingo. That's it. I mean, you see what's going on. We are the economy. Without us, there is nothing. So could we please stop creating slush funds and inside trading has got to be, I mean, this is, and stock buybacks and all that crap. It's got to go. RandyRoads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.